here I hope you're having a beautiful day so far today I'm gonna to be taking you into Walmart and TJ Maxx and sharing with you all the new spring finds and they are really good and I know you're thinking girl it's really early for spring I know but these items are really good and they're really versatile you can use them indoor and outdoor and also throughout the entire year they're just really good staples and I don't want you all to miss out on them so I hope today's video helps you out because it's going to be a shop style and decorate so give you lots of ideas and I enjoy creating these and I think you guys really like them too so if you do enjoy it give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends everything will be linked in the description box below just tap the arrow right underneath the screen or if you're on your phone tap the more button right next to the title everything will pop up there for you so you can save it or grab it now whatever works best for you but I'm here to give you lots of ideas and share some of these amazing new finds they have so many new colors for rugs this year and I like that they offer them in different sizes they brought back my patio furniture set which I'm super excited about and this one is a really good deal it is a wooden porch rockers they come in black and white really nice they started setting out their outdoor lights and lanterns so more of that to come so many good options they are bringing back a lot of the ones they had last year as well and I love them The planter aisle had so many good planters and these can be used as vases. I use these in winter time and I still use them throughout but you can use them outside as well. So many good textures and styles to choose from. I was so happy to see all of these. Look at the texture on this. This is a beautiful vase. That's what I'm gonna use it as. But it can be a full planter because it has a little um, plug on the bottom that you can remove. It's a really good size too for $5. You cannot beat this. Last year they sold it as a set online and I could not get it because it was sold out. It's indoor and outdoor all year round. If you don't wanna use this as a vase or something, you can use this on your countertop to hold your utensils. You can use it to hold makeup brushes. You can put it wherever, just leave it as is. Put plants in it, of course, but this would be really pretty for spring, just with some pretty tulips in it. That'd be absolutely beautiful. Some greenery right now would be nice. Um, it's just really nice decor piece. So if you need some shelf decor, this is the way to do it. For five bucks, you ain't gonna beat this for the texture and stuff on it. And the color's not black. My sh shirt is black, so you can kind of see the difference there. It's a nice charcoal. All right, let's talk about this beautiful plant stand. I'm not using it as a plant stand. This is going to be a very versatile tray that I can use indoor and out. So yes, you can put a plant on it, but this is awesome for bathroom decor, on your kitchen countertop, if you wanna put your soaps up here so they're not on your countertop. This is a really versatile stand. It's actually a really good size. And I love that the uh, legs just screw on and off and they have four, so it's really sturdy. It has that lip 
on the edge, which is a nice detail, but the coloring on it is fantastic. They did such a good job and it's so affordable. So think outside the box when you're looking at decor and you're out shopping, don't just think, oh, it says plants and that's all I can use it for. No, no, no. You can use it for whatever suits your needs in your home. Don't feel like that label is the only thing you can use it for because it ain't. We're gonna have fun styling this and I just think it's so good. This next item is something that I wanted to get last year, but I couldn't find one that I really liked or that was really affordable. Well, I finally found it and it's so cute. I love this plant stand, but again, it doesn't have to just be a plant stand. It could actually be a console table. It's a little shorter than a traditional console table, but you could use it for that if you have a smaller space, but this would work really well in a bathroom um, or in your office or something. Like you can leave the uh, slotted detail on it depending on what you're putting on this. So if you're just putting plants, then obviously just putting the pots on there would be fine. But if you want a solid service, you could get a one by eight board or so, somewhere around that size and cut it down at the hardware store and put it in and then you have a solid surface. You could paint it, you could put down, um, was that foam board and put some marble um, contact paper or wood contact paper over it and you have a really pretty solid surface for the bottom. But now you have a stand. This could be used for storage in your bathroom or if it's next to the tub or something, depending on how your bathroom laid out you could put a plant for something pretty to look at you have an area for your books and candles and whatever else you want this is such a good find and it was so easy to put together you just screw on the legs on the bottom um, part screws onto there and you're done it's lightweight but I am really excited to use this actually on my front porch I really want to put some plants on that for spring like my herbs and stuff because it gets really nice sunlight there and I think it'll be fantastic and it's just one of those things that like if I don't want to use it um, outside in the winter I can bring it inside with the same plants and put those next to a window just because it's in the garden section does not mean anything we can use it throughout the entire house Put a lot of the large planters outside now these ones are not stone but really good options for the styles to choose from and colors but again if you don't like the color of something just paint it it's super easy to do and i just like again the texture is so good a lot of these looked like real stone which i was really happy about and they're all pretty affordable compared to other stores for planters so keep your eye out those are going to be coming out in the store This basket tray is a great option to warm up your space, but it gives a lot of texture by the way the material is done on it along with these lanterns. Really, really good options. If Even if you're not into a ton of color, you like a lot of color, buy something with texture. The pillows have a lot of different design styles to them, which is great because it gives you a variety and you can mix and match. In the kitchen aisle, they have some really pretty wood bowls and you can use those again throughout the house. They're not just designated for the kitchen. This is the tray that I use over Christmas time that I share with you. I spotted my Texas house, part of her collection for kitchen towels, but the Better Homes and Garden line is so versatile. I like their collection for the kitchen and dining area.
If you're still organizing your home, Walmart's got some great options. They have the home edit line, really good options for the pantry as well. And lots of styles to choose from so you can stack some of these bins if you want, which is really nice. You can buy them individually or as a set. If you saw my Amazon organization video, which was my last one, you saw that my Ikea bins look exactly like this and these are really affordable and they have a few different sizes. Now we're gonna talk about florals. They have some really good options. There's not a huge, huge selection, but they do have some very nice ones that look more on the real side, which is what I tend to go for. These are great for winter time and for early spring. And you can also use these in summer. They're just very dainty, very light. You can see that they add quite a bit. I have four of them on here. These were on the pricier side for Walmart being $4 a stem, which really isn't that bad. You could add a couple more of these if you want uh, to a vase and give a very, very full look. But this is nice berries. You can't seem to find too many berries right now because Christmas is over. So if you're looking for a good winter floral, this would be a great option. This is only four stems, but look how pretty they sprawl out. Really, really nice option. And this is a great nod to spring without it feeling overpowering. This is just a very nice, safe, neutral option that still adds some life to your space. So another great option for winter time is Lamb's Year or Dusty Miller, which is what this is. These were $3 a stem or $3.50, and they're really full, quite nice. There's one of them, but see how soft the color is? It's very, very pretty, and it's a great nod to winter time, but also to spring as well. So this is just three of them. These with the willow branches. They do need to be bent a little bit though. They're a little tall for it. But do you see how pretty that looks already? Just adding in another um, branch in there. Mixing your florals is a really nice way to kind of elevate your floral centerpiece, but you don't have to. It just gives something else for the eye to be drawn into. If you're just ready for a splash of color, these dahlias are beautiful. These are like the um, sunflowers that I showed you in the video. I love the crinkle edge on them. These are absolutely gorgeous. Just having the crinkled edge and then the variation in the color of them makes them look so much higher end than $3 a stem. The smaller of the base that you're going to use, the less you're going to need. So three is just fine on this. You could do, that's what four looks like. And then if you wanted five, that is. And then the greenery on the leaves is very soft, but it's not as soft as the um, other one. Do you see that? You can add these to the same arrangement with the other pieces and it would actually be really pretty. So one suggestion I say to do is to alternate your stem height though so that it looks a little bit more natural like you picked it from outside. And then just stuff them in there. Usually odd numbers are better when you're buying florals um, but it just kind of depends on the floral too. Some florals you need a lot more of and someone some of them you don't you can bend them to give that look that you want as well because sometimes when you place them in they're not going to look just you know woohoo for you sometimes you gotta move them around a little bit but In that same aisle, they have different baskets and also vases. They even have this pottery barn lookalike, which is really nice. It's a bit smaller, but still for $13, it's a good size. And again, the texture on the one next to it. So lots to choose from. I'm going to take you to TJ Maxx and share with you some of the spring finds. They did have lots of organization though. So if you are still organizing your home, they have stuff for the fridge, the pantry, pretty much everywhere. There was a lot to, to choose from. I 
always love the unique selection of trays that they have because whatever you find here, you're not going to find in another store, which is really nice. I will say Walmart's is a bit cheaper for certain items, but you're getting something unique that you're not going to find everywhere else. A new place, a new home for a while. Let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back, take my time, just enjoy the ride. I know man, passing by, life is good, best I've ever felt. Get me up, so in, so I can find myself pretty bundle of peonies because it looks really realistic. These are really pretty looking. Again, it's because of the color variation in the flower itself. So look for that. Don't just look for something that's just straight one color. It helps if there's a variation in it. But this I thought would be beautiful in the tart and the Walmart base. Sometimes you just need that little bit of color to brighten up your day. And this is how I like to do it with flowers. I was in the dark against it all, but made it through the day because I found my way. I found my way. Little six fillers. These are fantastic find and they're so affordable. You can find something similar to like this at World Market and they're going to be about 20 bucks a piece, if not more. These were $7 and this one was 8 what and they're really big and if you don't want to decorate with metals um, and you're not really into the brass color or anything like that wood tones are a great option to warm up your space as well so i just thought these were really pretty and they're just gorgeous they're made in india and i love that they're just big and chunky they had a third size as well but you can layer these on bookshelves which is always nice to add that little pop of color um, or you can actually add candles on them but these are so pretty and really versatile you can use them all year round and they're so affordable so definitely check out tj maxx if you're looking for some candle pillars i was surprised to see a lot of their vases and planters on sale already so keep your eye out they have so many good items and really great size that is something that you would find at michael's for like 40 dollars. the texture again is great so if you wanted to paint these a different color they will give you such a pretty look when you're done with them because of all the beautiful texture like these were awesome they had three different sizes All right, I picked up this lumbar pillow. It is a zipper, so I can get rid of the insert to it and then just store the cover. But this is very pretty. And it, on camera, I feel like it's coming off gray, but it has a very subtle blue to it. It's really nice and it's not overpowering at all. So this is a great option when you're decorating for after the holidays or you just want a really nice staple piece. This is a nice neutral, but it has just that little pop of color in it to jazz up your space a little bit. So I thought this would be really pretty in the entryway. I'm still trying to find a piece of art for here, but I just lightened up the blanket and then adding in this pillow just brightens up her home a little bit more. And I love the way it looks question on how do you stuff the vases so that your florals stand up and you don't have to use as many florals so for instance this vase i put dried florals in and i use packaging stuff so all i did was put the packaging stuff around the outer part of it and then that allows my florals to stand straight up so use um, paper crumple up like um, packaging paper and put it all the way around like hand towel or something you can use that whatever you're not going to see inside your vase well, as an example because it's a perfect shape for it this one actually will hold quite a bit of florals because of the wide opening on it but i wouldn't put water directly in this what you're going to do is you're going to take a cup or a glass vase you can find these at dollar tree or just use a regular cup and just put that down in the middle of it that's all you gotta do and you can put some packaging stuff around it if you want to and then your florals let's pretend these are real are just going to sit in that single vase and they'll get their water and everything, but you don't need as many to fill up the vase. And it obviously it would stand up taller. 
You see what I'm saying? Well, I hope you all enjoyed today's shop style and decorate with me at Walmart and TJ Maxx. I had a lot of fun sharing with you all the new decor and ways you can style it. And hopefully now you can kind of see what you want and what you don't want, what you could use indoor and outdoor, and what would be really versatile for your home and your, for your family. I really hope it was helpful. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and everything again will be linked in the description box below the video. Just tap the arrow or the more button right next to the title. But yeah, I hope you all have an amazing day. Thank you for spending part of me and I'll see you in the next one. Yeah.